last time we went to a show in an abandoned mill we bought weed stole a t-shirt got drunk and partied with Rachel Amber so today we're going to probably return to what is likely a very sobering home life it makes her need to get away from stuff like that Did anybody see that rainbow wax figure, uh, wax hand with the middle finger up? Oh yeah. Now we finally begin episode one for real now. Awake. Okay, that's fun. We did our wake and bake. Time to explore. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Oh, that's horrible. I don't want to think about that. Oh, the phone's not attached to this. Okay, well, there's our journal. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. I'm not going. Wakey, 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 wakey. Yay, Chloe's Last mom. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Oh Is yeah, we fought off dudes. Rachel Amber. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. But first, ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Let's see. Looks like they're talking about the Firewalk show last night. Wait, what? Who? What photo? Oh, it's Victoria! We're gonna be seeing a lot of classmates that Max had, obviously, because it's the same school. I wanna see I the photo. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Look at that. There they are together. Firewalk, you look hot. Who's the arm candy? Terrible news, my Deborah something. Deborah Porkin. <laughs> Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. This is a really intelligent conversation. Thanks, Alyssa. Glad you're still around, too. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? She's still reeling from it. Wait, who is in this? That really was Rachel Amber. We've got Warren. Ah, there's Warren. Life. Who else do we know? How I don't remember most of the people. Real? Alyssa. Oh, and there's that Elliot guy. Dana, Stellan. Brooke! Brooke's here! This is very important. There's a lot of familiar names on there, so we'll see who we run into. Oh. Man, I am killing it this year. Somehow I don't think Mom's going to feel the same way. C D C D C. Inconsistent, capable of better absences. Mostly it's absences. Disruptive, difficult, unfocused. Tutors available. Wow. Come on, girl. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. Oh, you can see that mark on her eye from when she got punched by those assholes. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. Wakey, wakey. Smoke and bakey. Better living through chemistry. Ha ha, get it. Smoking weed. 
see here. <laughs> Bask, you mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. You know what's funny is in my room, I have a plush Pikachu that has a mask on that looks exactly like that. That's not really that funny, but it is to me. I was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Let's see. Oh, before we change clothes, there's something we can graffiti over here. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Here we go. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Just ask Steve Jobs. Geniuses, 1% inspiration, 99% LSD. I loved reading all the graffiti in Life is Strange, so it's nice to see that we get to do some of it. Oh, Mr. Sharky. Hi. Wait, there we go. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. You got in your stuff. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Pirated. Get it? Because they were pirates. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Haha, ha. only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary, Elliot. Wait, is she dating him? Oh. I guess kinda. Interesting. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Okay, this should be our clothes. Cool. Okay, so since I downloaded the special edition, you get bonus outfits that you can wear. So let's take a look at those two. Oh, Illuminati, Hot Dog Man, Punk Dough. Let's try with Punk Dough. <gasps> oh, it's like Max. Oh, I think I want that. I think. Let me try one more. The Illuminati. <gasps> oh, but I like I'm that. We're doing that. Band Looks good. My shoe is so cool. Can't leave without my vitamins. I was gonna say, what does that mean? Didn't think it was legit vitamins, let's be honest. Uh, I really should get going. Okay. Now I think if you hold the left trigger, she writes, yeah, it's written on her hand what you need to do next. So we need to go downstairs. Shit. Where's my phone? God, well, it's poop. not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Good idea. Bathrooms are important though. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. So at this point, David is her boyfriend. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. 
And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Let's see. Ooh, a ring. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Oh, shit. Oh, that's real. That's real stuff right there. I made this for Mom when I was, like, ten years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of- Oops. <laughs> Are you talking? Sorry. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. <laughs> Let's put it out for her. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Much better. We can really scrounge through our mom's purse. Oh, jeez. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Um, uh, explore more. What's in the drawer? It's not like sex stuff, is it? Better not be sex stuff, because that's weird. If I could get in the fucking drawer, that'd be great. There we go. Ah, <gasps> oh, it is. Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? He does look like a tool, though. On the real. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Oh, it's in here. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, it's Elliot, our kind of boyfriend, maybe? I don't know. Mmm, you finished chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. And mom. Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Chloe, breakfast! Bring my purse down with you, please? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. I did see it. There we go. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Jesus Christ. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Oh, we're in trouble. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Hmm. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Oh, shit. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. This house is just full of sad. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Oh. 
It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so. Nobody's fault, really, from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Because <laughs> he doesn't have a job. That's clever. Made that for Mom in an art class when I was, like, five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his home, maybe? Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Ooh, a wildfire. It's always some kind of natural disaster going on in Arcadia Bay. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. <laughs> Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Oh, it's a swear jar. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Probably for David. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Yes, Mom. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? No, lots of stuff. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day, I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? Oh, mom jokes. I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, 
The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Jeez, things are tense with Chloe and her mom. And it makes me really sad. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. So I decided to be nice and tell mom that everything's going to be good and I'll behave and all that stuff. Doesn't mean it's going to really happen. Someone named Steph messaged me. Oh, let's open that letter. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like, I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Oh, good. Good times. Maybe I go out through the front door. Oh, well, let's check this message first. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Okay, cool. Let's swagger on out of here. What a piece of crap. <laughs> the car, too. The house doesn't look so great either. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? No. 
Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Oh, it's so tense. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Why is it doing a cutscene when I walk in the garage? What's oh, David no. doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Oh boy. What all can we look at? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? It's the camera she gives Max. Oh, uh-oh, all of her dad's stuff. Uh-oh, mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Okay, let's just get to it. But first... Wait, maybe I have to take it first. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Think we can go back and, yep, we can graffiti his toolbox. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Box of dicks! Got it. Oh my god. Good, we drew a penis on his toolbox. Guess we're ready. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. I'll accept his fist bump. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Yay, bonding. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. <laughs> we don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh boy. Shut this down. I'm going to try and do the back talk option as often as I can in this. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. 
You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? <laughs> oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Ooh. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Got him. <laughs>